to the vlog. Hello, I am up. I just made my honey, what am I calling this? Honey cinnamon, uh, oh, <laughs> honey cinnamon latte? Is that what it is? Honey cinnamon vanilla latte. Okay, she is here. I woke up and my neck is killing me today. I think I slept on it wrong. So I am, where's Daisy? Oh, she's just right here. Hey babe. <laughs> Moving a little slower today, but first sip of my latte. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, let's take five sips of water, everybody. <sighs> five sips of water. Now, my first sip of my coffee. Here we go. So good morning. Hello, my brain is still turning on. I've been getting a little work stuff done. I did some laundry this morning, but just had a really slow morning and I'm about to hop into therapy. My brain really needs to turn on for that. And then I have a couple meetings after that. And then today, pretty much after that is a really chill day. I took a few days off vlogging because I've had a really busy work week, but today it's Thursday. And today I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I'm taking myself on a date tonight, a solo date, which is gonna be really fun. And I'm super excited about that. Pretty much this whole day today is just like a date day for for myself because I'm just spending time with myself, spending time with my thoughts, doing that is hurting my neck. I'm gonna jump into therapy and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Hello guys, oh my God. Therapy was amazing. Even if I feel like I have nothing to talk about, something always comes up. Right now we are tackling some generational trauma, which I can do a whole vlog about if you guys wanna hear more. We actually just posted a pretty basic episode kind of talking a little bit about that. Feel free to check it out. But I seriously, even like when I don't feel like going in, I always leave feeling so much lighter. I feel like in such a better mood. Okay, now I made these yesterday for TikTok and we just taste tested them. <gasps> They're amazing. So I took the dates that I got from the farmer's market. I got these big, juicy medjool dates and then I also got these small little, I think they're called blonde dates. I think that's the variation I got. Between the two, Medjool's way better. I'll be getting more Medjool dates when we go through this. I'm pretty sure these will be gone in the next like- uh, Two hours. No, <laughs> maybe in the next week or so. But what I did is I stuffed the dates and I did some with regular peanut butter. I did some with that kind of like PB2, the flavored PB Co. I did the, bye baby, the cookies and cream flavor. Oh my God, you guys. So I did that, mixed that together, stuffed the dates, and then I dipped them in chocolate or actually I did like chocolate on top dark chocolate and then I sprinkled the top with a little flaky salt. I'd also did sprinkles for fun and then I also did little cookie crumbles. I got these like wafer cookies from the grocery store and I, I pounded them and then did a little topping on top to add some nice crunch on top like these. Mmm. Oh my God, they're so good. They're kind of like Kit Kats. They're delicious. Such a delicious little fun treat. I'm gonna put these back in the freezer now. I need to eat something before I go, but I don't really want like solid food. For some reason, I'm feeling a smoothie. So let's make a smoothie together before we go ahead to Pilates. And then after Pilates, we're gonna go run some errands together. We're doing a little solo day. I'm very excited. The dogs are very much giving Spider-Man meme right now. Boom, boom, boom. Let me get my stuff and let's make a smoothie. We got our blender bottle. I'm gonna add in some, let's do our frozen fruit. I still have this bag of frozen fruit that I've been working through and if fruit is going bad, I just throw it in there and then keep freezing and adding to it. I'm also freezing a bunch of shrimp shells. These are all shrimp that I've like cooked up throughout the past couple weeks or so. And rotisserie chicken bones because I'm gonna make some stock soon, which I'm really excited about, but for now, frozen fruit. I'm gonna take these strawberries out of here because I want some strawberries. Lucas, I cut some strawberries. Does anybody know that reference? That's like one of my favorite vines and I feel like not many people remember it, but she was an icon. I love her. Okay, I'm gonna do some strawberries. Okay, some strawberries. I'm also gonna do some banana. I have here sliced bananas. Let me just like Break them up. These are from Sprouts. Just some frozen sliced bananas. It's a little chunk in there. Just a couple. Okay. I'm gonna add in a couple of these dates. I'll do one date. These are the little blonde dates that I was telling you about. They're pitted just for a little extra sweetness as well as, where did I put it? It like disappeared. I'm gonna do a pack of protein. This is my Clean Simple Eats cake batter protein. So I'm doing like a strawberry banana cake batter shake, which sounds so good, smoothie situation. Pour my protein powder in there. That's like exactly one scoop. Mmm. oh, it smells so good. And then just some almond milk or milk of your choice. You could do ice too, but I do think I'll save that for a coffee or something. The frozen fruit should work properly. Oh, my agent is calling me. One second while I blend. <laughs> Update, sorry, I had to jump in the car. I have my smoothie, it's delicious. And now we're going to Pilates. I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, it is hot today. It's 90 degrees. I finished class. My neck is still kind of hurting, but it feels better. That was a really hard class. Oh my God, this lady bought pumpkins. Ah! 
Okay, still drinking my smoothie. I took a class with one of my favorite instructors, Bailey. She's so sweet and so beautiful and so nice. And when I was leaving, she's like, oh, that smoothie looks good. Where'd you get it? I said I made it at home. Okay, oh my God, sorry. I also want to go to Trader Joe's and then I also want to go to Ulta. There's an Ulta right next door and I've been watching all of Kim Tai's vlogs as I always do and there's some products that she's been raving about and she said it like absolutely changed her skin. I literally texted her yesterday and I was like, I'm gonna go get some because she cannot stop talking about it and how good it is. So I'm gonna see if they have it there. And yes, I was and I potentially might still be taking myself on that date tonight. To be honest, I've been really tired. Work has been really crazy lately, but I bought a ticket to a show. If you guys did not know, my favorite show, my number one comfort show of all time is called Heart of Dixie. It's with Rachel Bilson, Jamie King, Scott Porter, and then it has Laura Bell Bundy in it. And she plays this character named Shelby. Also, if you didn't know, Laura Bell Bundy is like a Broadway icon. She was the understudy for Kristen Chenoweth as Galinda. And she also was Elle Woods on Broadway. And she's just been like, she's absolutely incredible. She's like my favorite Broadway star of all time. I love her and I love Mackenzie Kurtz. I love so many people, but I love them specifically. And Laura Bell Bundy, oh, she was also Amber in Hairspray. She and a couple other Broadway icons, all of which were in Hairspray, are doing a show tonight in LA. And I love Laura so much. I wanted to go and watch. So I literally bought myself a front row ticket alone. Just the last ticket they had available literally was the front row one. So I was like, okay, I'll go alone. So I was going to take myself on a date to do that tonight. But to be honest, I'm getting tired. And the 7.30 showing is what I wanted to go to, but that was fully sold out. And the last ticket available was the 9.30 showing, which honestly is a little bit late for me because I've been going to bed pretty early. So I'm deciding if I want to make it or not. I just texted Paloma and I wanted to see if Paloma wants to take the ticket if she's available. TBD, I might make it. I might not. We'll see if I get a boost of energy, but I really wanted to take myself on a date and do that tonight. Oh my God, it's so awkward when people make eye contact with me when I'm vlogging. I'm just going to look away. Mm -hmm. uh, now this woman and I are both going to go into Trader Joe's together. How embarrassing. Regardless, we will see where the night takes us. Either way, Laura Bell Bundy, you're not watching this. I love you. Let's go to Ulta. <gasps> I found it. It's in the Korean skincare section. <gasps> oh, a cleansing oil. I love cleansing oil. We have a Milky Whip facial cleanser. This is what she keeps talking about. The niacinamide algae. I think it's a moisturizer. Oh, it's a cream. I usually go for more gels than creams because I have more oily skin, but she loves that. Oh, we got sunscreen, <gasps> hydrogel patches, and a stick. That's fun. Ooh, okay. I've been using, I use this one in Korea. I got this in Korea. I wonder if they're made in Korea. Yeah, made in Korea. Okay. <gasps> oh, and it's 30% off now. If you're interested in fall scents, they have pumpkin pop, buddy butter, buddy butter, body butter, scrub, body wash, cherry. Okay. I'm also looking to restock my favorite kiss and press press on falsies <gasps> these ones right here that's just the regular Ooh, glamorous i've never tried glamorous but the regular voluminous are my personal faves i also heard this skin tint blurring elixir is really good from kylie cosmetics kim talked about it and i think i'm this shade so i'm gonna give it a try one left am i the only one that didn't know kylie came out with a perfume I think I like it. I did try to grow my own pumpkin this year and it was too hot so it didn't work, but these are gorgeous. Okay guys, there's a lot of people here. I will do a haul when we get home, but this is just a little sneak peek of all the stuff. Lots of chicken. So excited for the fall stuff here. I found the motherland of all the fall things. I saw they have vanilla pods now and all of these vanilla extracts. Ooh, I love almond paste, all of the pumpkin-y things. <gasps> that pasta is so cute. I keep getting nervous. I'm gonna get yelled at for filming. They have Ube Jojo's, guys. I did not know that. I love Ube now. <gasps> you guys. Oh my God, it's time. It's time. Before they sell out, it's time. Ooh, butternut squash lasagna. Ooh. Guys, we hit the mother load of kimbap. Also, Alicia told me these are really good, the Korean rice balls. There's also chicken karage now. There's so much good frozen stuff here for such a good price. So I'm reloading on all the fun frozen stuff. I found this tropical green tea instant boba kit. I am so excited. <gasps> Celebration cake gelato, oh my God. Hello guys, I'm home. I am so, so, so hungry and I'm gonna heat up some leftovers and eat so fast before we get to this haul. I made shaking beef last night. Oh my God. And then I also made a chicken and shrimp yellow curry with coconut milk. It's absolutely perfect. I think I'm gonna go with the steak though right now. Okay, we have my bowl. We have some rice in the rice cooker that I made yesterday. Keeps it nice and hot and fresh. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Some sushi sticky rice. Our meat heated up. Oh wow, that looks delicious. A little bite on camera. I'm gonna serve it with some fresh cucumbers too. I'm gonna slice up, but Mm-hmm. 
Okay guys, we are home. It's time for our Trader Joe's haul. I'm so excited about all the stuff we got. Okay, first off, we still have a good amount of produce from the farmer's market. I've been making our way through that, but we got a lot of good stuff. So first off, I got truffle potato chips. We have like zero potato chips right now and we've been giving a lot of sandwiches for lunch just because I will put sandwiches in like my top five favorite foods. And you gotta have chips with your sandwich. So we have some regular olive oil potato chips here. We got the truffle potato chips and then we got two bags of the pickle chips. Honestly, there's like not a ton of chips in these bags. So we go through them maybe in like a week or so. Cal and I love chips on our sandwiches. Okay, next up, I got the Taiwanese green onion pancakes. These are so delicious. I've tried these before. They're so yummy. And I've seen a lot of people use them as like a breakfast wrap. So I wanted to try that. We also got some fully cooked pork belly. I haven't gotten this in so long. I remember when I discovered this in college and it is delicious. It's fully cooked. So you just slice it up and then you can crisp it up on a pan. And I have some ramen that I grabbed when we went to Japan and I've been wanting to make it, but you need pork belly to go with your ramen. So we got this and I will cook that up and do that for dinner eventually. I got three of the chicken bone broths because I'm going to use this as a soup base slash also I can just put this in a mug and sip on in the morning sip on it at night. I love soup. I love broth, as you guys know, and I'm always like a savory over sweet girl. So I love tea, but like this over tea, any day. Next, I got a couple bags of cauliflower gnocchi. We usually have a few in the freezer at all times and we finished them the other night. So got a couple new bags of that. I also grabbed some of this butternut squash. I got two packs of this. I'm gonna roast this and then we can blend it with an immersion blender down with like some chicken bone broth. I also got some leeks that I'm gonna saute, I'll saute some bleaks, some onions, and just make like a delicious butternut squash soup that I think would be so good to serve with like a grilled cheese or maybe like a chicken sandwich or something. That'd be so good. This is one of my favorite little items to get during the holidays or like the fall and winter. It's the holiday vegetable hash. And in here there's butternut squash, sweet potato, red onion, celery, parsley, sage, and rosemary. It is so delicious. It's all just like tiny little cubes. I get one of these, at least one of these every year. It says great for sauteing or adding to soups and stuffing. I personally like sauteing it up and serving it with eggs in the morning for breakfast. I think with like some of that sausage that I got, it'd be so yummy. I got a bunch of bags of chocolate chips because I'm all out after making those dates and I love to have just chocolate on hand, whether I'm baking, whether I'm cooking, whether I'm doing like a like a little treat like that. So I got two bags of the semi-sweet chocolate chips. I got two bags of the dark chocolate chips and then one semi-sweet chocolate chunks. These were honestly a really good price compared to uh, some of the pricier chocolates out there and they're really yummy. I got some little baby cukes to do some dip with. I think I'm going to make like a buffalo chicken dip. So I'm going to dip that into there. I also got two pounds of ground turkey. I'm going to use these to make turkey. I was going to do turkey meatballs, but I think I might do turkey burgers because I love those and I can just meal prep them. I got some prosciutto for said sandwiches. I love doing like a salami chicken breast sandwich. I like to add chicken breast to give it some more protein. So chicken breast, salami, prosciutto, any of those. I got six of these butternut squash mac and cheese because if you have not tried these, I would go as far as to say my favorite thing that Trader Joe's carries all year long. 365 days a year, it's this. It's so delicious if you haven't tried it. It's got like a sweetness because of the butternut squash. I love butternut squash and they come and go really quickly. So I got a bunch and they stay good until next September. So I'll definitely make my way through them this season and then I'll go get more and keep them in the freezer to last me throughout the rest of the year because it is just so delicious. I got also this fall zucchetti pasta. They're like these little pumpkin shapes. I get one of these every single year and they just make a fun little dish to throw like butter on, sauce on, bake them. They're really yummy. It's just like a fun little pasta shape. I got three packs of the little bourbon vanilla beans because these were $2.99 each. It's such a good price. I actually used all of the ones that I got at Costco. So I'm gonna keep these in my little spice pantry and I can use these for baking and things like that. I also got some of these vanilla extracts because they were way less expensive than buying other vanilla extracts. And I'm always using vanilla extract. I got two of the alcohol free and then I got two with the alcohol and I actually got carded for these which is pretty crazy but if you see there's like so much actual vanilla bean in there so it's such a good price and they're so pretty I'll definitely be using these a lot I'm excited to see which one I'll like more I got the pumpkin bread which I might even have to make tonight honestly it sounds so delicious I'm not a pumpkin spice girl but I like pumpkin like I like pumpkin pie I like pumpkin pastas I like pumpkin bread it's when you throw the like nutmeg in there I don't love it I don't know why but that's just my thing I got an almond paste to bake with I've never I've never used almond paste before, but I love anything like marzipan, almond flavor, almond extract. So I feel like I'll love that and I'll have to try and make something delicious with that. I also grabbed a bunch of protein bars because our office, I like to keep the office stacked with snacks for everybody and we're low on protein bars. So I got five of the creamy crisp bear bells. I'll go put these in the office. Next up, other bag of pickle chips. 
I also got some extra firm tofu. I usually eat soft tofu, but I've been craving really firm tofu. I'm gonna press it and then I'm gonna slice it all up and I'll probably season it with like sriracha, make it like a really yummy, like crispy situation. I think that would be really good. More bear bells. I got a bunch of the chocolate dough. I got the chicken breakfast patties, which I'm excited to try. I got some pumpkin spice bear bells. That's for Wit, because I know she'll love that. <gasps> I got these cute little Halloween sprinkles. I thought I would bake with these, maybe make like a sugar cookie or something with these. They're adorable. Or just for a little fun in my morning, add a few to my coffee. I just love sprinkles so much. They make me so happy. I did pick up a bag of the peppermint baking chips and I'll keep these for the holidays and use those. Lots of these protein bars. Some carrots. I'm going to roast these with like a maple glaze. I think it'll be really, really good. I like a roasted carrot. Also guys, this is so random, but there are so many things that I used to not like that I now love. Pickles, jalapenos. I love a roasted carrot. I'm trying to think. There's so many things that I used to not like. Iceberg lettuce. I'm obsessed with iceberg lettuce. There was just a time where I didn't like it. And I do know your taste buds change every, is it every few years or so? I went through a big overhaul and there are so many things that I used to not like that I now love. I will say two things that I still don't like olives and raw carrots, but cooked carrots, I love. So I'm gonna glaze these with some maple and make them really yummy. I got little fingerling potatoes. I can roast these or cu cut them up for breakfast or something. Ooh, I got a box of puff pastry just because I feel like it's always good to have on hand in the freezer. I grabbed some butternut squash zigzags to roast up. I also got the hold the cone chocolate chip as a little sweet treat. I might have one of those right now, actually. Okay, last bag. I got the tropical green tea instant boba kit. I've never seen this before before, but I'll have to try these. These sound really yummy. I think it goes in the freezer, I'm pretty sure. But if I'm getting like a fruity boba, I'm getting tropical, like lychee, mango, whatever, passion fruit. So that sounds right up my alley. I also got these shrimp burgers. If you haven't tried them, they are so yummy, really high protein and super easy to cook. And just, I feel like super underrated. 13 grams of protein in one burger for 90 calories. So I'll usually eat two if I'm really hungry, get 26 grams of protein, serve it on a salad. They're really easy to make and really delicious. I also got some zucchini. I love zucchini. I got this to grate up into our turkey burgers. More butternut squash. I really like the Trader Joe's tempura shrimp. I'll keep a box of this on hand and I'll cook it up for like a night where we're doing udon or something like that, like a Japanese night. I got the stir fried garlicky cabbage. This stuff is really, really good and really easy and I love cabbage. And then last but not least, I just got the chicken. I got chicken drumsticks, chicken breasts, and chicken thighs. And that is everything. I got a lot of stuff. And on that note, I'm going to put everything away go take a shower and I will catch you later. Goodbye. Okay guys, updates. I took a shower. Cal and I were chilling and I am gonna go to the concert tonight or the show rather. I asked Paloma and Ryan and Paloma had a call back and Ryan was sick. So I'm going to the show. I'm actually really excited. I'm happy that I'm going. But before we go, we need to eat dinner. So we talked so much about sandwiches today. I'm gonna make sandwiches on this gorgeous loaf of bread that I got from the farmer's market. The chicken from Trader Joe's is cooking up behind us to put onto our sandwich and I'm gonna slice some sandwich slices out of here. I like my sandwiches pretty thin. Perfect. We're gonna make this. I saw it's an hour and a half show, no intermission. So we're gonna make sure I eat so I'm not hungry and I pee before I go in there because I don't wanna disrupt anything. But I'm going to toast this bread in the pan and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, bread is being toasted. It looks gorgeous. The chicken is almost done cooking. I sliced my tomato, my onion. I'm gonna dress some arugula up. Do you want like mustard and mayo or do you want like a balsamic glaze? Whatever you think is good. I think I'm leaning towards like balsamic, like that restaurant that we really like. Okay, I'm gonna dress the arugula with a little olive oil, a little oil, a little salt, a little fresh pepper and then massage it all in. Okay, for mozzarella cheese, I have these little baby balls. These little guys, mmm. So what I'm gonna do, lay them out on the bread. I wish I had the bigger balls, but I'm just gonna slice up the little balls and then lay them flat on the sandwich like this. My bread got a little burnt, but I just put it on top so it can start to melt the cheese while it's hot. And then I'll cut the burnt parts off after, but we're melting the cheese. Oh, it's a little smoky in here. Sorry, babe, I burnt the bread. We've got our bread, cheese, chicken, prosciutto on top. I burnt the bread on this side a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just turn her inside out so it's prettier. Okay, then we're gonna do a little mayo on the inside. I need to get some more light mayo. I love light mayo. Tonight we'll use this regular mayo that we have. A little mayo on the bread. 
Okay, mayo down. We're gonna do onions on the mayo. Little red onion action. And I cooked the extra chicken so I can make more sandwiches tomorrow and the rest of the weekend really quickly. Love it. Okay, now we're gonna do on top of that some tomato slices. On the bread, we're gonna do our dressed arugula. Actually, just kidding. Before we do the arugula, let's do our balsamic glaze. A little balsamic glaze. And now our dressed arugula. Right on top, and then ploosh, and ploosh. Oh, wow, Remy, you outdid yourself. Look at that. I should've salted the tomatoes. I thought I salted the chicken too much. Tomatoes need a little salt. Ready, Kel? Ooh, does that look any good? That is gorgeous. Here you go, babe. All right, this is dinner, and I'm gonna eat this, and then I gotta leave in 30 minutes to go to the show. Woo! I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, solo date time. I really did not dress up since it's just me. I was gonna put makeup on, and I was like, you know what? It's, I'm just gonna go bare face because who cares? It is going to be a 9.30 showing. It's late, it's okay, so I'm doing no makeup. My hair has a lot of like hair treatment in it, so I just slicked it back. And then for my outfit, I am just wearing these jeans. These are my favorite jeans from Good American. I've got my twice socks on, and then I'm just wearing this cardigan that I got from Ann Taylor Loft. I might just button it up all the way. Very demure, very mindful. Nothing crazy, very nice and casual for perfume. I'm gonna go nice and light, something fresh. I randomly got a package of every single Sol de Janeiro mist. Thank you so much to Sol de Janeiro. So I'm just kind of like trying each one out now. This one is 48. I've never tried this one before, I don't think. This one has guava nectar, sunlit orchid, and sensuous pink musk. Oh, I just know I'm gonna love this. Can't believe I didn't try this one before if it has guava. Oh, that's really nice. I love that, very fresh. All right, here is the look. I'm gonna bring my pepper spray for when I'm in the parking garage. Let's go, ladies. See you guys along the way. Hello, guys, I made it. I'm in the parking garage. I've got my pepper spray as a woman alone, just in case no one messed with me. That was definitely faced at, nope, there we go. Pepper spray. I'm also 30 minutes early. I was very eager. Let's go. I got my ticket. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so happy I came. This theater is stunning. Guys, I'm gonna have the best view. That's crazy. What? Hi guys, okay, I'm back in the car. Five big sips, everybody. That was so good. I loved it so much. My cheeks were hurting from smiling the entire show. All three of the girls absolutely crushed it. That was so fun. I really need to get out of the house more. That reminded me like, go to shows, you live in LA, there's so much stuff happening all the time. I need to just get out of the house, but that was so fun. And I'm gonna go home now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.